All right, everyone. We're here to open boxes and chew bubble gum. And guess what? We're all out of bubble gum. What's going on, everyone? It's Rich Haywood here for Bacon Ice Care Productions and Team RTFC, welcoming you to yet another episode of Good Times with Retro Rich. Yes, that's right. We do indeed have a box, and in it is the Duke himself. So let's get into this thing and see what's going on with this Atomic Edition VS. Let's go to the open zone right here in Studio B. And how easy is it to get there? We just click this button. Oh, it's beauty. It's beautiful. And here it is. There's the box. There it is. We're going to crack right open into this thing. Look at its majestic, boxy beauty. And then, um, cool. Let's, uh, let's get in. I'm going to get the keys to get into this thing. There we go. Got that cracked open there. Let's see what we got in here. This came from Funstock, of course. It was the Funstock exclusive. And um, we got the notification a little bit ago. We did the, the news line on it. And let's see. Let's see what we got when we open this bad boy up here. Whew. Oh, there it is, guys. Look at that. Look at that. That is some pretty good stuff. Evercade VS Atomic Edition. Peggy 16. Evercade seal of quality includes Duke Nukem Collection 1 and 2. Let's check the other sides of the box here. Let me get this one out of the way. Okay, we've got that here. Not bad, not bad. Got all of your, your stuff in there. Gearbox, Evercade, Blaze, all that kind of stuff. I got... Some stuff on the side right here. All right, everything got. So what's, what's included? Um, 33, cartridge 33, Duke Nukem Collection 1, Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remastered, and 3D Toll Meltdown, Duke Nukem Cartridge 34, Collection 2, Duke Nukem Time to Kill, Land of the Babes, and Duke Nukem Advanced. And then it says compatible USB adapter not included is required to use it. It comes with the cable. Uh, it comes with two controllers that are three meter um, right here. There's three meter controllers. Then you get your USB cable and um, one console, of course, and the quick start guide and the collections. All right, cool. So we'll go over here. We got this guy right here. Cool little art. Little art right there. And then on the top, just the Ever KDVS Atomic Edition thing. And then you got the front. Look at that. That's pretty cool too. That's very, very cool. I'm I'm loving this. I'm loving the art already. But we didn't just get it to gander and gaze and then not open the box. No. Me, like Pete. We cracked this babe, this bad boy open. We open almost every box. I don't know if I open every box. Alright, anyway. Cool. So there's your there's your sleeve there. We're gonna put this over here. Uh, can I can hang out. Am I moving the table? Oh. Got some crazy stuff going on in the open zone. There we go. All right, cool. All right. There's the Atomic Edition thing here. And then now we lift. We got that there. The reveal. And this. There we go. Boom. There it is. In all, in all its majesty, a Evercade VS here. Got your yellow cartridge doors. Very slick looking. Got your USB ports, of course. On the back there, you got your DC and your HDMI out. And your reset button. Reset button right there. Very cool stuff. Oh, we got some symbols there. Got your skull and crossbones. Your... Uh, like nuclear fallout thing and bombs dropping, you know, like the little lightning bolt thing there. There you go. You got this one right here. Pretty cool. And then um, I don't know what these uh, 0304, 3855, 9294. I don't know. See, that's. I want to take some notes, guys. That right there. I'm not exactly sure whether or not that's a. Uh, 
it's a clue or surprise or something like that. We'll have to find out when we get to the uh, actual opening of this thing. So, cool. All right, we're going to put that down there. Get into the next layer of this thing. Which, of course, is the games. We got this guy right here. That's, of course, cart 33. Duke Nukem Collection 1. Duke Nukem 2. 1 and 2 remastered. 3D Total Meltdown. And then on here, of course, you've got your works with all, including the original. Um, it doesn't have the firmware update thing that, that uh, all the other carts usually had, uh, saying that, oh, it does, there it is, right there, requires firmware update. There you go. And then it's Peggy 16. Um, only one of, I think this is only one other cartridge got Peggy 16 on it. I think it was the Namco because Splatterhouse. Um, so that's, a, you know, getting into those big boy mature games. That's pretty good. We open it up, and boom, there's the cart right there. There you go, collection one. Hanging in there. There we go. Duke Nukem collection one. Very cool, very cool. And then uh, a little mini book. It's actually smaller, I think, than the other books. Interesting. Interesting stuff to see that it is like the, the book actually does feel smaller. Got some cool stuff in here about Duke Nukem. Duke Nukem 1 and 2 remastered. The book is some way, way more story than I thought there was going to be. So that's pretty cool. There's your Duke Nukem 1 stuff. Of course, this one is one of two games completely remastered by the team at Blaze that run natively on your Evercade, which is really cool. There's some cool stuff there. You got secret bonus points. It's pretty neat. Duke Nukem 2. Can't wait to dive into these. And every time I look at the, the way that the, that game plays, Duke Nukem 1 and 2, it's just like, please, for the love of everything, can I get a Commander King collection next? Um, because that, it's just so evocative uh, to me anyway. And then Duke Nukem 3D, Total Meltdown, that's the one that I'm sure a lot of people are looking forward to. Lots of different control schemes for the Evercade original handheld, the EXP, the Super Pocket, um, all that kind of stuff. You got to you know, stuff with all your weapons, all your items, and that's that. It's pretty cool. Nice little artwork on the back there that, on that one. That's really neat. Very, very cool. All right, so that's part one, which, of course, we will be playing. Some fun for fiving all of those. We've got Collection 34, Duke Nukem Collection 2, which, of course, has Time to Kill, Land of the Babes, and Duke Nukem Advanced. Also rated Peggy 16. Um, requires the firmware update, works with everything, all that fun stuff. So let's go crack into this bad boy. Bam. That's the second collection right there. There it is. There we go. Cool stuff, cool stuff. Neat. All right, there we go. Go into this one here. Check out the pages. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's funny. With the pork thing. Why I'm so great. That's that's pretty good, too. Nice. And then Time to Kill, um, which I think this one, Time to Kill and Land of the Babes, I want to say they were, I don't know, what are they? PSP or PS1 games or something like that. Um, or, yeah, I think that I think that's what they were. I'm not sure. Um, but I didn't necessarily uh, actually, I didn't actually play these at all. So I'll be looking forward to playing these. It's pretty cool. The Shades operating system. That's funny. All right, cool. Duke match two player action. That's cool. If you need a break from saving babes, the Duke match option allows two players on Evercade BS to go at each other in a variety of settings. Each player may must have their own controller plugged into one of the first two controller ports on the VS. Um, vertical split scheme, time kill limits, third for, third or first person mode. That's pretty cool. You got some couch co-op action built into this stuff, which is neat um, for uh, Land of the Babes, right? That's the that's the one that is. 
I'm pretty sure it's Land of the Babes. Yep, Land of the Babes. So that's cool. Very cool. And then Duke Nukem Advance, of course, which is pretty cool. One player. Man, I love bacon bits, it says. That's pretty funny. All right, cool. And then you got all your weapons and all that kind of stuff. And then, boom, an old advertisement on the uh, on the end for the Evercade uh, XP. Very cool. Very cool stuff. And we go down to the bottom layer, which, of course, has the controllers and your quick start guide, which is pretty thick because of all the different languages. Pretty, pretty wild. It's pretty wild. All right, so we're going to put that there. We're going to take a look at the controllers because they look very neat. Very cool. Very cool stuff, guys. Um, of course, I have the um, limited edition Evercade BS. Um, so I'm very acquainted with the controller as I use it for every single Fun for Five that we uh, do here on the channel. Um, so it feels, I must say, precisely like the other controllers, which is good, because if it didn't, then I'd be very sad. Um, the rocking motion and everything is pretty cool. But the color scheme on this, man, this is its a slick controller. It really is. Very, very cool. Very cool stuff. And of course, you've got your your cable here. Um, just your standard, standard old plug-me-in power cable for the VS, which we will plug in later. Um, not in this video, so sorry if... if uh, gentleman who commented it uh, before on the other unboxing um on most unboxings unless it actually powers on and turns on on its own um i.e it's a handheld um most of the time i don't do any footage of that stuff while we're uh doing the unboxing but um that's i saved that for the fun for us all right cool so and then there's the second controller it feels obviously the exact same way which is exactly what you want so very cool stuff very cool stuff indeed. Um, and then that's it. It's, there's nothing else hiding in here. Yep, nothing else hiding in the bottom there. So we're just going to put all these layers back and then uh, get to the wrap-up on this one so I can then get to playing and hooking this thing up. Um, I might do a video, actually, um, on this... Uh, on the actual setup of this, because there are things about the VS itself that are different. Um, there are like uh, extra extra things that um, that you can like unlock and use and all that kind of stuff um, for this thing. There's a there's that uh, I heard that there's a secret, uh, which is kind of cool. And I also heard that um, that of course you get the the uh, Atomic Edition theme, which only will ever exist on these uh, Evercade VSs for now, um, you know, from from Blaze. So that I think will be, I don't know, maybe just a quick video in and of itself. I'm gonna hook it up and then like we'll start it from scratch. Like I'll, I'll hook it up here um, in the studio. We'll turn it on and I'll do a, a full video of me actually just getting it ready to play, and then maybe we'll coincide that with the Fun for Five for maybe Duke Nukem One Remastered or something or. Maybe I'll do a 3D Total Meltdown instead because you know, people have seen Duke Nukem 3D and kind of know what's, where it's at. So um, that's, I think, is what we're going to do with that. So let's hit this button again and go to the wrap-up. Yeah. How do you like that? Just hit some buttons and we're in a wrap-up. No editing, nothing. It's just we're here in Studio B. It's pretty glorious. I must admit. And boom, we got Duke Nukem Collection 1, Duke Nukem Collection 2, and then, of course, yet again, the Atomic Edition VS hanging in there. It is really slick looking. I definitely, definitely uh, enjoy the look, and I am 100% positive, and maybe even on the VS only, that that set of numbers... I mean, come on. They put it on the side of the thing. How are you going to not try that in the secret menu, right? We got to do that. So that will be a thing. And then even, like, even from the top, like, come on, that looks, looks awesome. Looks awesome. Can't wait to plug it in um, and and get get it going. What do you guys think? Let me know down below in the comments, of course. Um, you know, did you guys, were you one of the lucky ones that got in there on this one? This one sold out real quick. 
So it was pretty, it was pretty epic. Um, did you get one? Did you want one? Um, you know, what else do you want to see? Are you, do you want to see just the startup video on its own with the secrets and like trying to unlock that kind of stuff as its own video, kind of just rooting around and, and figuring everything out, um, away from the games, or do you want me to combo one of the games with it again? Let me know down below. We'll do it. We'll, we'll do whatever it is. Um, this machine is probably going to live here and be the official Evercade VS of Studio B. And we're going to start doing all sorts of crazy Evercade fun for fives um, because now that there's two locations and lots of different setups and stuff like that, there's not a lot of unplugging and like restarting and all that kind of stuff that I need to do anymore. I can actually just kind of like just sit down and go. So uh, hopefully, with all this being a thing, you can you can safely say that there'll be more Evercade goodness coming here to Bacon Ice Cream Productions very soon. But we've reached the end of a video here in Bacon Ice Cream Productions. When you you know you know what you got to do. We got to do one thing and one thing only, and that is thank every single member of the Good Times Club. So let's do that now. So we got to thank the Ever Canadian and Crimson Cross and Cureage Games. And Chris Westerman and Phantom Fiction and Skeletrex and Lord R. Jim and Papa Pete and The and Television Gamer and Ken LeCure and Mr. Shua and John Willig. I, I got your name right again, which is great because I'm actually looking at it. So sorry. I was like seriously sorry, uh, John, uh, for like calling you Pete or, you know, like, as random names. Uh, anyway, and Gunsy20 is actually sitting over here. How's it going, guys? Yeah. So he's just. He's just hanging out, but he's also a Good Times Club member, which is awesome. And we thank every single one of them for their support of the channel and for pushing us to do awesome things like create this giant studio area to do more things, um, to do Retro Rich's restorations, which again, didn't go anywhere, but might look a little different now that we have Studio B, which is the reason why there was a big pause. There was a big whole thing about why we didn't do them the Good Times Club will know why, because, well, it's also meeting day. So Good Times Club members might want to check the feed in the uh, membership side of things later on tonight for some more details on that. But until next time, we will catch you next time. First in Good Times, I'm Rich, and we will see you later. Take it easy, guys. And, um, yeah, if you got one, enjoy some Duke. All right, see ya. Bacon ice cream dot com.